What's going on everybody? What a super Sunday. No doubt about it. 50 plus degrees. Beautiful day. Plane free for the most part. Chem free. We'll always have a certain amount of it around us. But you'll see that we have a regular level of sun at lights and its brightness. We're here to look for Venus. That's up there somewhere. It's going to pop through. I believe it's the Starship Enterprise. It does kind of morph a little bit if you stare at it. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I was just like looking and looking and looking at it. And it's almost as if it's extension on the sides of it. At first, it just looked like, you know, the other stars. And then it started to, to extend outwards. Wasn't sure if it was just a trickery of the eye or perhaps, you know, something... It's a little bit more, you know, spiritual, uh, outer dimensional. Possibly. Well, we're going to give it here a little while. I hope tomorrow proves as reasonably nice as today. Certainly this whole week from February maybe 16th to February 23rd has been, oh gosh, low down on the chem. Low chemtrail days. That means you can go out every day for the most part, get blue skies. They didn't get all cluttered and grayed up from the endless fleet of planes leaving their streaks all over the place. I'm sure they probably have some sort of schedule and they'll return. Hopefully they never do. Well, I've got a few more minutes here to wait to see if we can get it coming into focus. Because it does just kind of you know, show itself as very bright. Uh, we kind of want to get it into the lesser bright phases, so it should just gradually be coming visible in the sky. And I believe yesterday evening it was right up here. Yeah, I hope everybody went to church, did the repentance. End times, very real, very possible. You know, it's kind of foolish to think that destruction can't happen across the world with interdimensional beings at work as well. Kind of facilitating the whole thing akin to what many books have described usually there's indications like half the insects being gone from the world mosquito bites no more honey bees can't even get stung walking across your yard in the summertime any longer coast to coast can't find sea urchin starfish or the giant abundant plant life that used to be super colorful the corals across the world's Barrier reefs have been whitening out, dying. Those are all pretty much good signs, but we still have a lot of life. I just hope people wake up to decide that we're going to see what's going on with the life of the world so we can have a say in what can be done to maybe extend the life. That's what a reasonable, responsible society would do. Still no sighting yet up here, but I bet if I walked inside and then came back out, it would be here. Hmm... Are you that self-centered? No, certain things have magical appearing ability. Maybe somebody over there can't see it. Well, I can see it, or somebody over there can. Who knows? A lot of these things, they tend to be like the verification, and they want to extend it into the holographic. The only things exist is if you touch, feel, or see them. I'm not much into that theory whatsoever. I think there's solid land behind those buildings that I've never been before. It just gets way off track, but here, just of interest with it, is the level of brightness. I just think I would remember, and a lot of people have a hard time recalling when they saw a light that bright in the sky that early at night. Now, the helio model says, well, Venus is now just that much closer, and that's why it's that much brighter. It's like, okay, with its cycle around the sun and the Earth cycles around the sun, Ready to go like Earth, Mars, Venus. So how much further more we could see the stars that are trillions of miles, a lot further than the supposed planets. Whole lot further, and they're out there every year, about the same. Reasonable brightness. They can usually know, you know how much they're going to even shine and light the sky. I think they're lights of the night. And nobody has a freaking clue what they really are outside of the Creator. And the rest of it is just a bunch of gubbly, made-up imagination station. Still have not seen it coming about. And the time is running down low. Well, I'm going to save it for later. Great day for everybody, I hope. I'll pray for the fallen, the ill, and the sick. 
that they may be able to heal up and get on their feet again. Thank you, God, for steering me in the right direction, giving me new blocks to walk upon, staying away from the temptations of super anger, super self-pity, morbid reflection, the wants of gossiping maliciously. Keep me away from those. Keep you clean. Keep those guys clean. That's what we need. And to all the supporters of 5G and the other nefarious actions, F off. We're tired of it. Come get us. You're going to have to sooner or later. Bye-bye.